And now the kids in the hall present the dramatic conclusion of Old Yellow. Hi, Ma. Hi. What's wrong, Ma? It's Old Yeller. He's rabid. <laughs> What's you gonna do now, Ma? Only one thing to do. <laughs> it's my dog, Ma. I'll do it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> You're a man now, Toby. <laughs> that was the dramatic conclusion of Old Yeller. Uh, you wanted to see me, sir? Yeah, Danny, I... I wanted to show you something, Dan. Uh, Is it a mole? <laughs> no. No, it's not a mole, Dan. Oh, I thought it might be a mole. No. And maybe you wanted me to see if it had gotten any bigger, because I know how hard it is to see certain areas of your body without a mirror. <laughs> I know what you mean, Dan, but no, 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 it's, it's not a mole. I wanted no. to show you a film, Dan. Oh, Home Alone? No, it's not. <laughs> it's not Home Alone, although that is a... Fine film, yes. Aha. Uh -huh. Love the movies. Yeah. Okay. Can't get it up. you, Dan? Are you... Are you Blade Rogers, Dan? <laughs> well... <laughs> well, uh, 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 sir, part of me is. The part of me that is still that young runaway with dreams of a Hollywood career in his eyes. I hope that part never dies. But the other part, the part that works here for you at AT and Love, is certainly not Blade Rogers. No way. Dan. Yes, sir? You're fired, Dan. <laughs> God, I didn't think it would be like this. I mean, I always knew I'd be fired, but I always thought I'd be fired for misappropriation of funds or criminal negligence or maybe even for screwing your wife. Dan, but... I want to rehire you. What? But I want you to do what you do best, and that's make porno, Dano. But, sir, I don't understand. Since when does AT and Love make pornographic pictures? Well, Dan, let me explain. It's okay. ever since we bought out international CompuFax. I see. You see... Compufax owned Loresco Mines, which was uh, a holding company for Excelsior Communications, which had a controlling interest in Nobble Throb Films. Oh, that's, that's my old studio. Yes. So since we bought out Compufax, Dan, it seems that we're one of North America's most profitable pornographic film studios. And we own a weight loss clinic in most of the Galapagos Islands. I see. 
So what do you say, Dan? Oh, a body uh, like yours doesn't belong in a suit. Oh, sir, really? Uh, I, I put on a, a few pounds over the years. <laughs> oh, Dan, no one's going to be looking at your love handles. Oh. They're going to be staring at the old husk handle. Oh, sir, really? <laughs> I mean, you got a beautiful tool, boy. You're embarrassing me. I'm embarrassed, you know it's true. Well, thank you for that. And, uh, well, I must admit that uh, I do have an idea for a screenplay. Weave your web, baby. I'm all ears. Okay, uh, it's about this woman. I love it! There's more. More? Oh, gosh, Dan, go on! And, uh, well, she goes away in vacation and she forgets her husband. Uh-huh. And uh, then these two gorgeous burglars break in and the Dan, them. do yes. you think we could make this film in the Galapagos? Well, I suppose I could make him a marine biologist. Great! Because I just haven't got a clue what to do with them islands. <laughs> well, Dan, yes. now that I own it... Uh-huh. Let's say I see it. <laughs> Come on, Dan. Well, you are the boss. <laughs> That's it. Unfurl it, boy. <laughs> Come on. It's not a flag. Let it touch the ground. <laughs> Bingo. Would you get me Lloyd's of London, please? <laughs> Why don't you shut up, eh? Blah, 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 blah. Always blabbing. No, I'm not always blabbing. Why don't you just shut up, all right? Keep your voice down. Everyone's looking. Nobody's looking. Nobody can hear me. What do I care, anyway? Okay, let's go. No! I'm staying here. I love this place. I'm a hero to these people. Hey, look at me. I'm the king. Hey! Hey! hey. I'm a hero to these people here at Bloor shut Street. Shut up! Shut up! Why don't you shut up, eh? You're smoking, you're eating, you're drinking, you're talking, you're making me nuts with all your consumption. I'm gonna say something. What? Do you mind? There are other people here. Are you Lyle Hershecker's brother? Walk erect much? Hey, cut that crap out. What? Mm. 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 What? 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 Think what you just did. Think! Come on, let's go. I don't speak English. <laughs> I love you. Let's go. Hello, Mr. Harris. Hi. All right. So what do we have here? Broken nose. Have a little look at that. Oh! An almost broken nose. Oh? So how did this happen? I was trying to make a difference in this world. Well, my nephew's seven. He's quite a tiger, as I found out. And, uh, I don't want to talk about it! Who's asking? I fell down while making some toast. <laughs> Fucking bike couriers, man. <laughs> you don't want to know. Fair enough. Okay, now this may hurt a little bit. What? Barry, he fainted. Can you get some salts? I said he fainted. I need some salts. Found them. Jimmy. Uh, how long have these grapes been here? I must get a housekeeper. Well, it's happy hour. Time for a monologue. Gather around, boys. <laughs> Scoot. <laughs> Scoot. 
Tonight's topic is vice. Or as we girls call it, Vicky. <laughs> Let's face it. People will always need to get high, yes? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that goes double for faggots. Uh, if we made the rules, pot wouldn't be illegal. Hockey would. <laughs> oh, sure, I know. Marijuana has never killed anyone. Oh, sure, it's made a number of people slower over the years. <laughs> so has television in old age. And they're still legal. Otherwise, I wouldn't be here rapidly aging on TV. <laughs> The truth is, there is such a thing as safer drug use. My credo is moderation, within reason. <laughs> My rules are stick to pot, occasionally ecstasy, coke, but only if it's offered, <laughs> and never involve needles. Add alcohol and stir. <laughs> oh, sure, I know what you're thinking. People don't do drugs anymore, but still. Put a line down at a party and it's trough time. <laughs> Two years ago, I decided that something in my lifestyle had to go. So I quit smoking. I would never go back. Well, not unless something really terrible happened. It's awful to wish your parents dead just for a cigarette. <laughs> All right. Everyone has their own parameters. For some people, chocolate is the furthest they will ever plunge down that slippery slope of vice. For others, it's murder. <laughs> Somewhere in between lies porn. The idea of persecuting gay porn is redundant. Gay life is porn. What you see up on that screen are the community standards. Nobody's being exploited. These are faggots, people! <laughs> To argue that pornography leads to violence is beside the point. Everything interesting in life does. <laughs> and just for the record, I'm not ashamed of anything that I've ever done in my career to put food on the table. Modeling can mean a lot of things. <laughs> it's all about freedom of choice. The freedom to put whatever it is you want into your body, whether it be an idea, a line, or... Carlos. <laughs> sure, I know, some Vicky is dangerous. But so is bungee jumping. And it's legal and so exciting. The only thing I could possibly compare it to is washroom sex. But I would never do that. Well, not unless I really had to go. <laughs> Time's up. All right, back to work. La 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 la. And now, the kids in the hall present the dramatic conclusion of Old Yeller. Hi, Ma. Hi. What's wrong, Ma? It's old Yeller. He's a rabbit. <laughs> this week's old Yeller is played by Alvin Touche, the baby born at Woodstock. <laughs> what you gonna do now, Ma? There's only one thing to do. <laughs> it's my dog, Ma. I'll do it. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> You're a man now, Toby. That was the exciting conclusion of Old Yeller.
That was haunting. Really good groove. Not bad with our drums, eh? I can't believe Rod's not here. We were supposed to be here a half hour ago and arrived having eaten. I know. I mean, if we want to make it, we got to want it and need it more than anyone. <laughs> we're never going to make it. Hey, we're going to make it. Yes, we are. Armada! Armada. <laughs> Sorry I'm late. Hey, Rod, you didn't arrive having eaten. Oh, right. And also, my dad's here. Hey, guys. Hey, cool digs. Uh, what's your dad doing in the rehearsal space? I don't know. He wants to talk to you about something, I guess. Well, what? I have no idea. What is it, Dad? Oh, uh, well, uh, I thought I'd talk to you boys a little bit about your musical careers. We're gonna make it, Mr. Torfelson. <laughs> We've got no choice. <laughs> it's not that simple. It's not? How so, Dad? Okay. Well, you know, uh, having been a dental supply salesman for four years and a merchant <laughs> marine for four and a half months, I think it's safe to say that I know a little bit about the music industry. <laughs> Uh, sure, of course. Sure, sure, yeah. sure. Okay, okay. I love the name Armada, okay? You love the name Armada. Yeah. But the name Armada can mean so many things. That's why we like it, I thought. Yeah. Could we just hear him out, please? What were you thinking about, Dad? A name change? That's right. Listen to this. How about Rod Torfeson's Armada? <laughs> That's you. Oh, I... Yeah, I guess it is. But it's got nothing to do with me. It's just an idea. Hey, can we not fight? Boys, don't get hung up in specifics, okay? It's just a marketing ploy. Besides, Rod's well-liked. He drums, he sings. He doesn't sing. You don't sing. Yes, I do. I sing background vocals on Jackie's eyes and drink the bleach. Well, I sing, write all the songs, and play lead guitar. What you're missing is it's just an idea. Yeah. Okay? Huh? Dad, do you think this idea... This name change would help us, you know, make it? Well, okay, uh, here's the poop. Being the owner of a power boat and speaking a little conversational French, I think it's safe to say that I understand a little bit about the music industry. Sure. Huh? Okay. Sure, sure, yeah. Sure, sure. Okay? My estimation is that this name change would help you boys make it big time. Wow. Okay, we'll think about it, but right now we gotta practice, Mr. Torfeson. Okay, trampoline girl on three. Well, shouldn't we decide before we start uh, practicing so we'll know what name we're practicing under? I'd like to try it out on a few people for a couple of weeks, okay, Rod? Well, well, might I be don't... too late, Herman. By then, someone else might have stolen the name. Right. Uh, good, good point, impartial father. Yeah. Why, uh, why, you know, you guys are always talking about saving time. Yeah, well, Here's a chance to save idea. some time, right? We've talked about this. Yeah. Because I don't think that I, I should oh. be pressured. Oh, well, let's vote. Let's vote. The, the, oh, the, well, yeah, well, why don't we just decide? Well, because... Well, okay, well, let's just I'm do going it. to the can. No, well, you know, we're... we're... <laughs> How come it gets to be you, huh, Cause, Rod? Because my dad came here first. Well, maybe you boys just call quits. Yeah. What? No more Armada. We have 23 songs. Well, you can't get along. You can't be in a band. Yeah, maybe you should well, call quits. Well, maybe he's right. Maybe he's right. Well, maybe he's yeah. right. Fine. Wait, what if we compromise? <laughs> what? What if we call ourselves... Rod Torfeson's Armada, featuring Herman Menderchuk. <laughs> that sounds okay. What do you think, Herman? Sounds great. <laughs> Rod Torfeson's Armada, featuring Herman Menderchuk. I love it. But just till we make it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You'll still write all the songs. Sing, play the guitar, and arrive having eaten. Right. <laughs> okay. Rod Torfeson's Armada featuring Herman Menderchuk. But I still do all the work. Trampoline girl on four. Right. One, two, three, four. We're gonna make it. We're gonna make it. We're gonna make it. We're gonna make it. E, two, three, B, two, three. Tracy, could you come in here, please? Coming. 
Giddy up, horsey. Giddy up, horsey. Giddy up, horsey. Whoa, horsey. Yeah. Would horsey like some sugar? <laughs> Good horsey. What is it, Mummy? My Tracy, you're getting to be such a big girl now, aren't you? Yes, I am, Mummy. Oh. Well, I think it's time that you and I had a talk about horsey. He's such a good horsey. I do love him so much, Mummy. I know you do, dear, but there's something you should know about horsey. What could you be talking about, Mummy? Horsey is your daddy, dear. <laughs> That's silly, Mummy. How could a horse be my daddy? Because horsey is not a horse, he's a person. That's a lie. You're a filthy liar, Mummy. <laughs> I wish you'd back me up on this. <laughs> Stop it. We'd agree that we'd do this today. I'm afraid it's true, honey. I'm very sorry. You see, when you were a baby, you loved playing horsey so much that as you grew up, we didn't have the heart to tell you. But yes, but now you're so big and your old dad's back just can't support you anymore. We're sure you understand. Please understand. No! I want my horsey! I want my horsey! I want my horsey! <laughs> you know, I'm afraid we may have spoiled our daughter, dear. I know, but what do we do? Well, there's only one thing to do. Oh. <laughs> no, wait. <laughs> I'll do it. <laughs> okay. I want my horsey. I want my horsey. I want my horsey. You're a man now, Toby. <laughs>